modifications we do to our car are always exciting. But what is equally exciting is getting back the originality of the car, the way the car would have felt on day one while being rolled out from the factory. And today in this video, we are going to attempt to do just that. So today I am at Infinity BMW Service Center and uh, the car had been here for its routine service interval. Thankfully, uh, because it was an official BMW Service Center, they were checking all the parts. And this is a 10 year old car, as you would have seen in the previous video which I did. Uh, it was a special video for this car. So it was identified that the suspension and the suspension parts had worn out. Uh, we know that the F30 was never really a uh, extremely good handling car, it was more comfort oriented and if you ask any BMW guy or any person who understands BMWs, specifically the 3 series, they would always say the F30 was always tuned towards comfort because the E90 was a bit hard or a bit rigid or a bit stiff and in my opinion the F30 is uh, the most comfortable BMW 3 series of all time. So I considered an M performance upgrade, uh, but that had a considerable amount of drop, which I did not want. I also was looking at aftermarket suspension options, but uh, those were not really workable. So the best option was to retain the F30's genetics, which are comfort. Hence I went in for a complete OE suspension setup to retain and get back the overall comfort levels, what the F30 was always known for. Because for performance, I do have a G20, which is extremely aggressively stands the M340i. And I also have the E46, which has a KW coilover setup, which is extremely fun in its own way. So for F30, my plan was to retain the comfort levels and gain back the original F30 comfort performance, which it was always known for. And in this video, I'm going to brief you with all the parts that, has been, that have been changed in this F30 to make it factory fresh. So the first component which has been changed are the shocks. So these are uh, original made in cooling shocks. So and a, a leak was observed in the shocks and uh, the workshop uh, recommended a change 10 years into the life and uh, high time it required a change. So the second uh, small but critical uh, component are these stabilizer link rods and uh, these also wear out over time and uh, it's always a good idea to change uh, these critical components when you are changing uh, the shocks of your car. So the third component is this, the tie rod ends and uh, these usually also wear out. They are connected to the steering system. So there was a bit of a play and it's always again a great idea to change these when you are changing your shocks and are dealing with the suspension components and finally these these are the control arm bushings these also uh, wear out with age uh, the control arms have been retained but uh, these control arm bushings it's always a good idea to change these uh, once your car ages and uh, it is uh, definitely a recommended mod if you're not changing your other components because this will also uh, gain back uh, that originality in your suspension. And the fifth component which has been changed, which is not visible here, is a part of the steering system, the EPS. So the F30 has uh, two EPS systems. One is uh, provided by Thyssen Car and another, another is by ZF. So the variable sports systems, the VSS steering is uh, from my car, which was the Thyssen Cup one. It has a repair kit available. So the, instead of changing the entire steering system, the steering rack, this repair kit uh, is installed and uh, just so that the overall uh, originality is gained back and the steering feels tight and properly weighted with this repair kit. It's an official part. So this is again not visible but it's a very critical component which I'm really looking forward to experience. And finally the final change which has been planned for my F30 are new tyres. So as you can see these are the old ones Yokohama Ad1 V105. Uh, so these are Ad1 sports. These are definitely a more aggressive 
performance oriented tyre. Around 7 plus years of age and it had worn out with age, uh, not gripping also and definitely the rubber has become hard. So, in come the new Michelins. So, these are comfort oriented primacy fours. Not only that, uh, these are also up on profile. So, this was a 245-40 whereas this is a 245-45 R18. So, with that extra sidewall, it's really going to make my F30 ride beautifully. the tires first so the company fitted the OE tires were 225 45 R18s then I switched to a staggered setup of 225 up front 245 rear and that was a tubeless pilot super sport setup which I had imported almost uh, seven eight years back and around 2016 I had put Yokohama Advan V105S and uh, those were the Advan sport series and that was a 245 40 squared setup and in this these michelins are a squared setup but now with a 45 profile tire so you know you can understand that i've experimented with those tire sizes and this is probably the most comfortable tire size which i could have gone with an 8j rim and uh, genuinely these tires have been that final nail in the coffin to make the F30 ride beautifully. And these initial kilometers out of the service center have brought a big smile on my face. And uh, it's definitely factory fresh. All those critical components which you changed up front of the steering system, as well as uh, the tie rods, uh, the control arm joints, uh, the control arm bushings, and definitely the all four shocks has contributed that magic carpet ride what the F30 was known for. So we still have to run in the tires and the suspension is new. Uh, it comes with a warranty, two year warranty. Uh, so that is something which is always a good thing. Now I'm really looking forward to driving my F30 more and uh, spending some quality touring time in this F30. So until then, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.